In an open birch and pine forest overgrown with grass there is a lake a few kilometers long and a few hundred meters wide. Herds of elephant, rhino and even toad ungulates come to its muddy shores to drink and bathe. In the middle of this scenery stands a nuclear family of the Heidelberg people, a species of people that is now extinct. In a study published today in the journal Quaternary Science Reviews, an international research team led by scientists from the University of Tübingen and the Senckenberg Center for Human Evolution and Paleoenvironment presents the earliest human footprints known from Germany. The tracks were discovered in the roughly 300,000-year-old Skåningen Paleolithic site complex in Lower Saxony. The footprints, presumably from Homo heidelbergensis, are surrounded by several animal tracks, collectively, they present a picture of the ecosystem at that time. This is what it might have looked like at Skåningen in Lower Saxony 300,000 years ago, explains the lead author of the newly published study, Dr. Flavio Altamira, a fellow at the Senckenberg Center for Human Evolution and Paleoenvironment at the University of Tübingen, Shep. For the first time, we conducted a detailed investigation of the fossil footprints from two sites in Skåningen. These tracks, together with information from sedimentological, archaeological, paleontological, and paleobotanical analyses, provide us with insights into the paleoenvironment and the mammals that once lived in this area. Among the prints are three tracks that match hominin footprints with an age of about 300,000 years, they are the oldest human tracks known from Germany and were most likely left by Homo heidelbergensis. The scientists attribute two of the three human tracks at Skåningen to young individuals who used the lake and its resources in a small mixed-age group. Depending on the season, plants, fruits, leaves, shoots, and mushrooms were available around the lake. Our findings confirm that the extinct human species dwelled on lake or river shores with shallow water. This is also known from other lower and middle Pleistocene sites with hominin footprints, says Altamira. The various tracks at Skåningen offer a snapshot of a family's daily life and may provide information about the behavior and social composition of hominin groups as well as spatial interactions and coexistence with elephant herds and other, smaller mammals, according to the study. Based on the tracks, including those of children and juveniles, this was probably a family outing rather than a group of adult hunters, says the archaeologist and expert on fossil footprints. In addition to the human tracks, the team analyzed a series of elephant tracks attributable to the extinct species Paleoloxodon antiquus, an elephant with straight tusks that was the largest land animal at the time and whose adult bulls reached a body weight of up to 13 tons. The elephant tracks we discovered at Skåningen reach an impressive length of 55 centimeters. In some cases, we also found wood fragments in the prints that were pushed into the at that time still soft soil by the animals, explains Dr. Jordi Serangeli, excavation supervisor at Skåningen. There is also one track from a rhinoceros Stephanorhinus kirchbergensis or Stephanorhinus hemidoecus, which is the first footprint of either of these Pleistocene species ever found in Europe. In addition to the human tracks, the team analyzed a series of elephant tracks attributable to the extinct species Paleoloxodon antiquus, an elephant with straight tusks that was the largest land animal at the time and whose adult bulls reached a body weight of up to 13 tons. The elephant tracks we discovered at Skåningen reach an impressive length of 55 centimeters. In some cases, we also found wood fragments in the prints that were pushed into the at that time still soft soil by the animals, explains Dr. Jordi Serangeli, excavation supervisor at Skåningen. There is also one track from a rhinoceros Stephanorhinus kirchbergensis or Stephanorhinus hemidoecus, which is the first footprint of either of these Pleistocene species ever found in Europe.